Technology is at this incredible point now where some cunt in a bedroom in who gives a shit a shire in England can fart out his moronic thoughts and have them heard across the world by sometimes up to seven people. It's something that frequently gets taken for granted when people complain that their access to the infinite web of human wisdom, connectivity and entertainment is a bit slow. Uh, it took two minutes for the newest episode of American Celebrity Fisting to load, even though one generation ago, if you wanted to watch something from another country, you either had to be in that country or go fuck yourself. To be fair, though, the very fact regionalisation still exists in a world where I could video call someone watching their show and watch it with them shows that executives are about as in touch with modern society as a boardroom full of old white men are in touch with abortion laws. Yes, I got fucked again. After seeing an advert for Emerald City at the beginning of the month while desperate for video ideas... I put too much faith in Channel 5, which is like putting faith in a submarine made of tissue paper and cobwebs. But what do you want from me? I'm a very trusting person. It turns out that episodes were only held online for a few weeks before they decided to delete them, because I guess customer service is for soft twats. I guess that goes to show that getting Channel 5 as your UK distributor is a bit like being told that the doctor is out, so performing your open heart surgery today will be a frightened gazelle. In fact, it isn't even that. It's on some offshoot channel called Five Star. I guess the gazelle was off six, so they brought in a particularly bright-looking tin of spam. So when that didn't work, I went to the source and checked NBC, only to find out I didn't have the varying fortune to be shat out on that particular piece of land. Thanks, Mum, you selfish ass. At this point, the spies who monitor internet histories, presumably to expand their porn repertoire, would all be thinking, fuck me, he really cares about watching Emerald City. And the truth is, I didn't. The trailer makes it look like Game of Thrones for the Once Upon a Time crowd, the equivalent of making Citizen Kane out of fuzzy felt and dried macaroni. But this is what regionalisation of TV does. I persevered for fucking hours on this out of some twisted sense of duty. A normal human who likes the look of the show and shows some kind of interest will be put off by the number of hoops you have to jump through, just because some cunt in a suit was sat too far away from a globe to realise there's more than one country. So after all this, I finally got to watch the thing. And you know what? It's Game of Thrones for the Once Upon a Time crowd. Don't I feel like a silly sausage? Yes, it was better than I expected, but so was my last dentist appointment. That doesn't mean I'll be spending over an hour fighting for a new one. If you have no working synapses in your brain, Emerald City is set in the land of Oz, as in The Wizard of. A property with a longer abuse record than an altar boy who's fallen out of his wheelchair at a church wine tasting. And to say the show was inspired by Game of Thrones is like saying a Rolling Stones tribute band was inspired by the Rolling Stones. It is Game of Thrones, just with everything toned down to network TV level. Lower quality characters, less engaging story, no gore. There isn't even any nudity for the members of the audience who rate TV shows based on the flight distance of sperm. I never really expected those last two things. American networks seem paralysed in fear that something could come along and hurt the ickle kiddies. Well, fuck the kids. That wasn't an instruction, Father. Sit down. It wasn't offensively bad. In fact, saying this didn't quite live up to Game of Thrones is like saying this fried egg wasn't as good as being blown on a private jet on the way to a trench full of Maltesers. No, it wasn't going to be. No one considered for a moment that it would be. It's just far too generic in too many places. Yes, that scene where the woman is tricked into shooting herself was funny, which now that I read that sentence out loud, I can hear the sound of an automated system putting me on a watch list. But other than that, there was nothing that stood out. Nothing really made me care. And the very unfortunate thing here is, if you're the kind of person who's always dreamt of seeing Wizard of Oz crossed with Game of Thrones, you better hope that you've been born in America, Sunbeam, because the executives have made this a pain in the ass to hold down. In a world where you could, with one lazy wave of the hand, watch some of the best TV ever made, it probably isn't a good idea to dance around holding the TV equivalent of rice cakes just out of reach. We get that you've cornered the market on styrofoam. Maybe you should lay off the coke for a bit. What's that? Yes, it would be a good idea to reboot The Apprentice with a different notorious shithead. Nurse, could you take him please? I think he's soiled himself. 